Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Jared. So I've been wanting to do an experiment for a while with some more common household items that I have laying around. And I'm going to use these household items to build a fruiting block, or at least be a big part of the fruiting block. Um, and that is coffee grounds, eggshells, and wood chips from my shop. So I'm going to take a recipe that I've used before, but I'm going to add in these uh, ingredients to it and we're gonna see how it works. So this isn't gonna be super scientific. I'm not using a control, like I'm not gonna compare this against another block at the same time. But this is kind of just my first attempt at writing a new recipe, so I wanna see how it's gonna work out. At the end of this, I'll post a, um, a quick clip on the results that I'm getting from it, and it's already pretty exciting at how it's turning out. So stay tuned, and we'll see you in the video, thanks. For this experiment, I'm starting out with four cups of hardwood pellets, and these are a mixture of oak and applewood. Then I added three cups of loose hardwood chips, and I do a little bit of woodworking at home. I had these chips sitting aside for quite a while, and I decided I'd finally put them to good use. These are mostly oak and other just random assorted hardwoods that I've been milling around the house. Then I'm going to add 6 cups of boiling water. Last time I did a hardwood block, I used just cold water and it took forever for the pellets to soak up the water. Using boiling water this time definitely helped it break up a lot easier and it saved me a lot of time in the long run. And I really enjoy watching the hardwood pellets expand and break apart. And you can see even after just a few seconds it's already broken apart pretty well. And then I'm adding in 5% eggshell powder. And I know this isn't an exact replacement for gypsum powder, but it seems like it's gonna do pretty well. I've been saving up eggs for probably the last six months and just smashing them down and then keeping them in a cup. So I'm going to put them in the oven at 250 degrees for about half an hour. And that's just to kill off any bacteria that's been growing on the eggshells while it's been sitting on the counter and to kind of dry them out a little bit to make them easier to process later. I didn't bother preheating the oven and I know that might irk some of the bakers out there but I mean we're not trying to make bread here or anything we're just drying out some eggshells. So I did 250 for 15 minutes at first and then after 15 minutes I took them out of the oven Gave them a little mix and then stuck them back in for another 15 minutes. And just a heads up, uh, it's not the most pleasant smell when you're baking eggshells. They, um, well, it smells kind of like rotting eggs, but you know, sometimes you gotta make a little sacrifice. So after the 30 minutes was up, I took them out and I stuck them in the freezer. I know it's going to get quite hot when I throw them in my blender, so I put them in the freezer for about 30 minutes just to cool everything down really well. I added all the eggshells to my blender and it actually is quite heavy. I was surprised at how much this all weighed. Um, at this point, my blender is getting kind of beat up on the inside too because I keep blending random things in it. Did a few cycles of blending on high speed and then shaking it to try to get all the pieces to equal size. And it came out to be a pretty good powder. And you can see it's pretty fine. Uh, it creates a little bit of dust, so maybe do this outside? I don't know, I kind of just made a mess on the counter in here, but then I'm just going to store them in an old yogurt container. You can see here the grain's pretty fine. It is quite a bit like a powder. Like I said, I'm doing 5% of 5 pounds, which comes out to about 113 grams. To add nutrients to the mix, I'm using one and a quarter cup of wheat bran. And this should give our mycelium something exciting to eat while they're getting ready to build this fruit. Mix it together and dumped it on top of my now soaked hardwood pellets. 
you can see that eggshell powder is pretty dusty. I partially mixed this together and then I added 226 grams of spent coffee grounds. And that's about 10% of the total weight. I'm hoping that the acidity of the coffee grounds and the basic properties of the eggshells will balance each other out and that the eggshells will add a long-term pH stabilizer or a buffer to the solution so that the coffee grounds don't make it too acidic and the eggshells will help balance that out. Now I'm ready to give the mixture a nice thorough mix. I did a little squeeze test and I made this mixture a little bit drier than the last time I did a hardwood block. You can see when I squeeze it tightly, it starts to run a little bit of water off, but it's not nearly as wet as the last time. I loaded the mixture into my growing bag, and this is a gusseted grow bag with a half micron filter on it. I like to use the half micron filters for bulk substrates and I use the 0.2 micron filters when I'm doing grain spawn. The final weight of this block came out to just over 5 pounds. I dumped some water into my pressure cooker and then set the block inside. I'm attempting to use a big glass bowl to hold the top down this time and well the results weren't ideal but I think it ended up being a lot safer than the last time when I used an old frying pan which just ended up falling off and potentially exposed me to a little bit of danger. This way seemed to work a little bit better but I'm still on the search for the ideal solution, which honestly I think is probably gonna be a gym weight, but I haven't found one yet, so just trying to make do until then. I pressure cooked the mixture for two and a half hours at 15 PSI, and then I let it cool down overnight so that it was room temperature, about 85 degrees Fahrenheit, before I loaded it into my still air box and got it ready for inoculating with some colonized green spawn. I'm using pink oyster grain spawn here and I'm expecting some pretty good results. This grain spawn took off like crazy. It colonized the jars so fast. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how it turns out. I didn't show the whole sterilizing process here, but I cleaned out the inside of my sterilizer box, let it sit for about 30 minutes. And then I took the lids off my jars and dumped the grain spawn into the bag. This ends up being about a pound of grain spawn for the five pound bag. And off the top of my head, I think that's just under a 20% um, spawn to substrate ratio. Took it in the house and sealed the top of the bag with the impulse sealer. And then trying to be really careful not to get substrate on the filter patch. Um, I mixed everything up really well. Since this mixture is a lot drier than the last time I built the fruiting block, it didn't stick to the bag as much. And I think there'll be less uh, contamination in mycelium growing up on the sides of the bag. The final weight with the grain spawn into the substrate is just over six pounds, so we should have a pretty good sized block going here pretty soon.
All right, so today is Saturday, May 30th. I built this fruiting block on May 27th, so like three days ago. Um, and I just want to give you a quick peek at how it's doing. So if you remember, I used oyster, uh, pink oyster on rye grain. And if you can see, not a lot of substrate left uh, to be colonized there. So this, so far, I think it's doing all right. Uh, so I kind of want to do this experiment again, but use a control this time. So just go back to my original recipe and then compare it against this one side by side and see how quick it colonizes. Um, and obviously like there's more than just how fast it colonizes, fruit quality and all that stuff makes a big difference too. But uh, so far I'm pretty excited about this recipe. So hey, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.